President Biden want more migrants to come to Delaware? I don't even un understand that question, but I'll move on. Go ahead. An interesting response there from the White House press secretary. A reporter questioned Karine Jean-Pierre on whether the president would like to see more migrants in Delaware. She responded, I don't understand that question and moved on. The thing is, there has been a lot of backlash from Republicans who believe the Democratic Party doesn't want to acknowledge what's really happening at the border. The migrant situation in the United States is unprecedented. The border of the US and Mexico has so far in the 2022 fiscal year already seen 2.1 million migrants cross illegally. But Republicans believe that if those migrants aren't showing up on the doorsteps of the wealthy blue cities, then it's out of sight, out of mind for the Biden administration. So that led Texas Governor Greg Abbott to send migrants to the doorsteps of Kamala Harris's residence in Washington, D.C., to New York City and to Chicago. Then Florida Governor Ron DeSantis paid for 50 migrants to be sent to upmarket holiday destination Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. So what about Delaware? Questions the reporter, which is where Joe Biden was raised and where he lives when he's not at the White House. Well, it was a no comment kind of day for Corinne Jean-Pierre. The press secretary was then probed on the price of gas in the United States, which is currently sitting at around $3.85 a gallon. While that is a small drop in prices seen in other months, it is still high. In some areas of the country, such as California, the average is sitting around $6 a gallon. So what's the president going to do? Karine Jean-Pierre says the president has been delivering on this. President Biden made clear he would do everything in his power to lower prices for American families. And he's been delivering. That's because the president announced that he will release oil from the United States' emergency reserve. This is in a bid to try and help lower prices ahead of the November midterm elections. We know that record high inflation and the cost of living is detrimental to the Biden administration and they will need to make a few promises before next month. Joe Biden said that he will release 15 million barrels of oil from the country's emergency reserves, which is the final move from his March promise, which was to release 180 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. It is the largest sale in the reserve's nearly 50 year history. Fox News is the five weighed in on this with Jesse Waters saying, well, this move is all the president has left. American workers and companies aren't are, are, gonna get are paid. Suffering. We paid for these stockpiles, the taxpayers. Now the taxpayers aren't supposed to be taking a bath here. What are we gonna do? We're gonna sell the oil that we paid for to the Chinese because Hunter has a connection and then we're gonna take the revenues and then buy the IRS agents guns. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Joe Biden knows it, but that's all he has left.